Time now for the Farm Bureau Insurance Scouting Report. This week's opponent, the Detroit Lions. The Titans don't play them very much, but there have been some memorable games in the recent series. 2008, the traditional Detroit Thanksgiving game. The Titans at 10 and 1 go in and win 47 to 10. A lot of memorable things about this contest, including 100 yards rushing from both Chris Johnson and Lindale White. Well, the most memorable part of that game, though, was the turkey dance. The turkey dance. Dave Ball with the <laughs> interception and return, and he represented Thanksgiving with the turkey dance. 2012 at Nissan Stadium, one of the wildest games ever. Titans win 44 to 41. And Nate Washington makes one of the best catches, if not the best catch ever, at Nissan Stadium for a 71-yard touchdown on the throw from Jake Locker. That's certainly one we will never forget. Absolutely. But then we also have to talk about the 2016 matchup. And for that, I think we should bring in Titans general manager John Robinson. John, what do you remember about the Titans matchup against the Detroit Lions in 2016? Yeah, I, re I remember uh, Andre Johnson uh, catching the, the game winner to secure uh, my first win personally as general manager of the team. Uh, I still see Dre when we play Houston down there and uh, we catch up and I always remind him that, you know, he, he caught a lot of passes uh, in his career as a as a Hall of Fame receiver, uh, but none was was better than that one, at least in my opinion. Yeah, one of those game balls from behind you is from that game, isn't it? You would be correct, Mike. All right, so <laughs> let's talk about this set of Detroit Lions. They changed coaches three weeks ago. Daryl Bevel takes over for Matt Patricia. Can you tell any philosophical changes in the Lions since Bevel took over the team? No, not really, Mike. I mean, it's it's a group that, that plays hard. You know, they've got good players on, on both sides of the ball. They look like they have a lot of energy. Came down to the wire in the Chicago game, and they came away with that win, and then in the Green Bay game, they battled back and forth, came up a little short, but but they're playing hard and, and they're making plays on both sides of the ball. You mentioned that Andre Johnson is a future Hall of Famer. So is the leading rusher for the 2020 Detroit Lions. I'm talking about Adrian Peterson. He still has over 500 yards this year, still could play at a high level. What has made Adrian Peterson so great throughout his career? Yeah, I mean, he's got really good size, Mike. He, he's got excellent vision. He's explosive through the hole. He's a really sturdy back that can, you know, that can take a hit, stay on his feet, and still churn out yards. You know, when you go down the scouting report of physical traits that you're looking for, AD checks about every box that you would want in a running back. Tight end TJ Hawkinson is really coming into his own in his second year. He's on pace to have more than 70 catches this season. What have you seen from him in year two? Yeah, you know, coming out and then last year in his rookie season, you saw the tenacity as a blocker. You saw that on the film when you watched the Iowa stuff. You saw his athleticism as a route runner. I think what he's doing is he's got a better understanding of, of coverages and, and leverages and how to tempo routes to create some separation for himself. Not every route has to be run full speed or, or you know, to this landmark or that landmark. He, he's understanding the players that he's playing against, and he's a star at his position in this league. John, how would you characterize the Detroit Lions defense? Yeah, they got a bunch of really long players at off the ball, a linebacker on the ball at, at the line of scrimmage. It's an attacking style defense. They do a lot of, of movement up front with, with stunts and, and blitzes and games, and, and it's a sound secondary. You know, it's it's a really good group that's, that's really played hard the last couple weeks. John, thank you so much for the Farm Bureau scouting report this week, and good luck against the Lions. Thanks, guys. See you soon.